Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is take apart this huge ice maker. As you can see on my bench, I do have two of them here. Found them both on garbage day at different houses and at different times. This one is quite a bit larger, must be meant for the big parties. But either way, ice makers are an excellent source of scrappable material. They have a really nice compressor inside, a nice copper aluminum radiator, tons of copper tubing, some brass, some silver, some tin, and very easy to take apart. So gonna do that for you in this video for this large one here. I do actually have a full breakdown on one of these smaller ones. They are relatively the same, but I will include the link to the video in my description for this one. So if you're interested, go check that out. And I do want to say, as mentioned, because these both have compressors in them, you do have to have a professional come in to cut that tube and release the Freon. It is actually illegal to do it yourself. Uh, and I have had questions from a number of viewers about prices. How much does it cost to do? Is it even worth doing? As well as questions about compressors. Should I open them up? Do they all contain copper winding? Um, or should I bring them in whole? So I'm gonna address the first question first. Uh, how much does it cost to flush the Freon? Again, I can't give an accurate uh, answer to that because it all depends on where you live. There are different prices and rules, country to country, state to state, province to province, even city to city. I do know some of my viewers in the US say that they can't even bring copper aluminum radiators in unless they are an HVAC licensed technician. Um, here in Southwestern Ontario, we can bring them in and copper aluminum radiators are going for about $2.10 a pound, which is an excellent price. Um, but in terms of flushing out the Freon, again, I can't answer that as well. I do have a friend that comes in and does it all for me, so I will get a friend discount. But one suggestion I do have for my viewers is if you are going to do it, collect all of your items and do it all at the same time. You are going to probably save money doing it in bulk. And a lot of my small appliances like ice makers, dehumidifiers, air conditioners, I do find quite a bunch of those and they all do contain compressors. And again, as I said, I store them up, have my friend come in and do it all at the same time. I don't touch freezers or fridges, but people do take the compressors out of those as well. So I'm sorry I couldn't answer that question uh, because it does depend on where you are. And my suggestion is just to call around and see what the price is. Um, in terms of compressors, Compressors are, my opinion, always worth opening or taking the risk to open them. I did have a viewer say that they just opened two ice makers and the compressors were both aluminum windings. And for this video, I have actually opened both of them to see if they are copper windings or aluminum. And I will give the results uh, in a bit. But I also just finished a video whereby I took apart 170 pounds of compressor. I factored in the price of compressor, compressor weight price, which is about 39 cents a pound in London, Ontario. And what I did was I opened them, separated the tin and the number two copper from each of them, factored in the price of those and made a huge profit. So I will include the link to that video in my description as well. Well worth your time and effort. And in my opinion, any compressor is worth taking the risk to open to see if there is copper in there because copper continues to be our scrapper's gold and it is everywhere and anywhere. And you cannot tell just by looking at an appliance if it's gonna have copper windings or aluminum. So gonna start here again with this one. Gonna put this off to the side. I did have to remove the side panels, but again, look at those beautiful pieces. And again, my full breakdown video, the, the link is in my description. So go check that out. But so in order to get at this, I did have to remove the sides. As you can see right here, really nice pieces. If I put a magnet to them, I'm trying to find my magnet. I think it's under my bench, but I will just get another one here. And I do actually have a new camera stand here. So I'm just gonna pull this closer, hopefully uh, give you a better view. But these right here, these panels, I'm gonna put a magnet, they do stick. And this is actually gonna be classified at Scrapyard as magnetic stainless steel. Uh, this is actually going for about 14 to 17 cents a pound in London, Ontario. Uh, if I put a magnet to it and it did not stick, it would be classified as good stainless steel. And currently that is going for 77 cents a pound. A lot of your appliances, barbecues, 
have that um, stainless steel look. So you do want to check if it's magnetic or not. Uh, because I only have this shell here, uh, I'm actually just going to throw this right into my tin. I'm not going to take the drive to another pile in my scrapyard just for a couple extra cents. So tin right now going for 10 to 14 cents a pound. So just a little bit less, but I do have a truckload ready to go. So just going to add this to the pile. So it does depend on how much you have for sure. Uh, inside, have turned it already. Because I had to remove the compressor, uh, I did have to quickly just uh, remove some of the guts. But you can see lots of different uh, tubing here. Look at that beautiful copper tubing. This here is actually a small, it has a small copper motor in it, so there is a little bit of copper inside. This here apparatus does connect to the coils, uh, the compressor, but all of this as is, if I was to take this into a scrapyard, going to give me number two copper price, and that's because there is soldering on it, there is oil in this. So currently number two copper going for $4.37 a pound. So a really nice price. But what I will do actually, even though this does have a little bit of oily residue, I'm gonna soak this piece into uh, vinegar. And I am also gonna cut right here the siding. So this from the soldering all the way here, I'm gonna actually just bring this in as number one price uh, copper tubing. That is going for a little bit more, so $4.45 a pound, as well as this little piece here. So all I'm gonna have is this little piece of number two. Um, uh, that is one thing that I do wanna say, and I do have little pieces here off of my compressor, lots of different coils that you can see. And there are different styles of copper that come out of these ice makers. This is another coil here that went all the way up. This here, you can see this is not a tube. This is actually a wire, a large wire. And this actually can be classified as bare bright. So tubing, copper tubing, the highest you're gonna get for that is number one, regardless of how clean and shiny it looks. Uh, wire is a different category. You are, or you can get bare bright. So wire has to be thicker than a quarter inch. Uh, sorry, uh, quarter, uh, sorry. It has to be thicker than 16 gauge, which is the thickness about of the lead of a pencil. So this wire is clean, no soldering on it, very shiny, uh, free of oil. I do have right on the edge here though, or edge here, right here. If I was to bring this in, I am gonna get downgraded because that piece right there is coated, you can see. But a lot of your wire in here, a lot of this stuff, you can see this tubing. Don't be fooled just because it is uh, ma uh, metallic looking. You do want to scratch it. Notice here, scratching this tubing. That is actually copper. Just like the top of this, that is copper as well. So this is coated copper. So all of this coating here, I am going to have to cut that off if I want to upgrade this. Because if I throw these two pieces in... Because of the coating, it will be downgraded to number two. So all I have to do is a quick snip of that, number two, and the rest of this is actually just gonna give me bare bright. So I'm just gonna actually unfoil that coil, just gonna add it to my copper wire. So that's great there. Inside of here, it does have, once I open it, you can see the teeth. This is connected by a couple screws. I have already removed the screws. Uh, and I did actually start this video but I ran out of storage, unfortunately, so I had to start again. So that's why this is kind of disassembled. But this is the beautiful um, prong, if you will, that comes out of the inside. It does have the metallic coating, but once I scratch it, look at that, is copper. So this entire piece is gonna give me number two copper. Uh, I am not gonna try and buffer off that coating just to upgrade that. I'm gonna leave it as is, get that number two copper. On the side, Again, lots of items. There was a circuit board that I did have to cut off as well. The beautiful wire, appliance wire. And that is something I do have a lot of people say is because of the price of getting these flushed, people will drive by and just take the appliance cord. This right here at a scrapyard is gonna be classified as 40% appliance wire. Inside you see the three strands of copper wire that are coated. And this right now going for $1.45 a pound. This is definitely a pound. It's nice and thick, nice and heavy, very long. Uh, I do have, as you can see, brass prongs at the end there. I do remove those brass prongs and put them into my brass. I get $3.05 for brass right now. 
Some people leave them on for the weight. Uh, I do have a huge container of brass prongs and I'm just looking long term. So we'll see at the end if it does matter, if it's worth taking off or not. It does depend on how much you have. But again, some people will just take the cord off of here and leave the rest because of those um, you know, rules with your compressors. But appliance wire inside uh, this circuit board does have some wire here. You can see there is still a little bit of oily substance or residue, but this is all gonna give me higher value. This is your 60% appliance wire because it only has one coating on it. This circuit board, I do remove some of the goodies. I am into micro scrapping. These IC chips here, I do cut off. I have a container of those. This here is a relay box that has a small spool of copper as well as uh, some silver contacts. I also take off the uh, transformer there. There is gonna be a little, of copper, a little bit of copper in there. A couple little ceramic capacitors you see right there. Those can have silver recovery in it. So it all depends on the style of uh, scrapper you are. If you're into micro scrapping, uh, I do have a video showing you how to separate those items. It is well worth it, especially where I am because regardless of what's on these circuit boards, I only get five cents a pound for e-waste or circuit boards at a scrapyard. So I take off as much as I can, separate it, and I'm still gonna get the five cents a piece regardless of how broken and um, pieces are missing off that. So not gonna lose anything there. Uh, but again, these pieces are worth the silver and the copper inside. Uh, so e-waste. Uh, a lot of tin here. Gonna quickly turn this. Wanna show the side. There is right here a small motor. So just gonna get this motor off. There is one more screw. Uh, and these motors are a lot like the motors you see off of um, microwaves, the rotating plate under on the bottom. Very easy to open. All I'm actually gonna do is put it on my bench here. I'm gonna use a hammer and just open it up. I'm gonna put some safety glasses on. So just gonna do that right now, show you. Okay, so just breaks the the tin off here, the coating, it does have, as you can see, some plastic um, um, gears, but some more tin. And all I'm gonna do right inside, remove these little gears here. Okay, there is a little bit of oil. There is a nice brass, a um, couple prongs here, but these gears are just gonna go into the garbage, but just gonna slide this under now. Okay, pull this up. There is a small, you can see the little shell of tin on that. So just gonna quickly pull that out. Okay, some more tin, 10 to 14 cents a pound. And here, right here, a little spool of copper. Get it underneath, okay? You wanna make sure you get those little brass uh, prongs there. But look at the, the copper in there. Again, that, even though it looks very shiny and new, bear bright look, because it is thinner than 16 gauge, it's gonna be number two copper, but it all does add up. Okay, as well, there is a couple brass prongs on here that I want to remove. Okay, the rest of this shell is actually just going to be thrown into my tin. Okay, I have removed right here. There is my copper radiator. So I'm just going to get this box out of the way. But notice with this box, again, there is a little bit of plastic on here. There is a little bit of insulation. I do want to make sure I cut this wire off as much as I can. Uh, but the rest of this box, I'm actually just going to throw right into my tin. This is a nice heavy piece. Okay, and I did actually have on one side, this side right here, I do also want to make sure I look at these little boxes here. I already have removed the screws, but these are small little relay boxes. So you can hear the little clicky in here. If I was to break these open with a hammer, I'm going to show you a side profile of one. Very easy to do but that's what it looks like. This is just a bigger model, okay? And then from in that, it's gonna have little prongs like this. You can see that little dot or smudge, if you will, on that silver dot. That's a little bit of silver, uh, and I do break that off, put it into a vial. The rest of this piece on this one would have been brass. So they are brass, sometimes they're copper, but again, it all adds up. I have had someone also say that you can resell relay boxes like this online. People are buying them, especially if uh, you have a whole bunch of them, different sizes. They come off of all different types of circuit boards. Uh, but reselling, or reselling those is other item if you're not into micro scrapping. But the rest of this shell, again, gonna give me tin price. Not even gonna have to worry about taking the box off, leaving the plastic on here. There is one little 
bolt here. I see just uh, has a little bit of wire to it, but I am gonna remove this. Okay, I wanna make sure, I'm gonna check to see what this is. This is non-magnetic. And of course it's gonna be non-magnetic because it's in the water, you don't want it rusting. So looks like a little piece of, could be aluminum, just gonna scratch it. Uh, looks like aluminum. Uh, that screw there is also going to be non-magnetic. So that's gonna be a stainless steel screw. I have a nice stainless steel uh, thermos I actually put them into, 77 cents a pound. I just actually brought in a whole 10 pound um, container of a thermos full of little screws that are non-magnetic. So again, 77 cents a pound, it does add up, but that looks like a piece of cast aluminum here. Cast aluminum is not gonna rust either. So get that off before I throw the rest of this plastic in the bin here. But again, really nice box here. Gonna throw this right in the back of my truck. Okay, here is the radiator that comes off of it. There's the magnet. This radiator does have a small uh, fan on it. This fan I did have to remove with screws. You will find a lot of these that come off of your um, appliances. Get a lot of these off of computer towers. And what I do with these fans here is there is a small little copper motor inside. The shell here is gonna be tin, but these copper motors, I don't bother opening them. I will leave as copper motor price. I get about 25 cents a pound for that. Uh, they do add up, they come in different sizes, uh, but just gonna take it off of here just to show you. Okay, so again, another nice piece of tin. Okay, but inside, I have cracked that just a little bit to show you the spool there. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it is copper looking. I have scratched it, it does reveal the copper look. So very small motor, but again, just gonna put this right into my copper bearing motor pile, get the 20 to 25 cents a pound for it. Um, but here is my radiator, beautiful radiator, copper aluminum radiator, right now going for $2.10 a pound. It is uh, fairly small, uh, weighs probably about a pound and a half. I do have a scale behind me. Uh, the air conditioner one's obviously three times the size. But again, great source of copper as well. And for these, I will actually first remove the dryer. These dryers, as is, would be number two copper. Uh, but if I was to upgrade this, I do have to open it. Notice if I shake it, it has a sand in it. Sometimes they're pellets. Very easy to upgrade this to number one copper. Um, I ha do have a video showing you how to open these and upgrade them. And I will include the link to that. Very easy to do. But for something like this, just like my air conditioner ones, I do wanna make sure I cut off these coils. And you do have two different styles. Notice this side, there is no soldering. So these coils are all gonna be number one copper. These ones here do have the soldering connecting them. So these are your number two copper. And what I do for this, cause you do have to remove, there is right here, put a magnet to it. These are your magnetic plates right here. They do have to come off to get that uh, radiator price. So what I do is I will put a grinder right down the inner side of here. Be careful, these can be sharp, but on the inside, the coils will pop off. The plate, the tin plate will pop off. Give me tin price. And I will save these coils in a bucket. So here is just a bucket of my number twos. This right here is eight and a half pounds of number two coils that I've gotten from different um, copper bearing or copper aluminum radiators. This, these ones right here, I have a separate container because these are gonna be the number ones. If they are still oily, you do wanna soak them for a quick second into uh, the vinegar, um, just vinegar, household vinegar that I get in bulk from a grocery store, uh, but it will remove the, um, the oily residue. But again, upgrading right there, and the rest of this frame gonna get my $2.10 a pound. And I have a huge pile of these ready to go. I'm Looking forward to cashing in on those, but you will find different sizes for sure. Um, and sometimes this is a different one. This did not come off of a uh, ice maker, but you can see sometimes you will find aluminum radiators like this. This came out of a heater. Okay, so they are different. Uh, this is way worth way more. This is only about, I think, uh, 20 cents a pound. So you do want to make sure you separate it and you don't want to put this into this pile because you are going to get downgraded. But copper aluminum radiator, Great item for sure. As well, last thing, my compressor here. Gonna address the question. There is my compressor. Here are the little pieces that came off of the compressor. 
Notice these all connected from the frame all the way there. So I do have them in a pile. I am just gonna weigh all of this copper as is uh, just to uh, see price, give it a number two price. So just a rough estimate for sure. Uh, I am gonna put actually at the end of my video a description, uh, I will put final tallies of weight, but just from that container, look at that score of number two and one tubing, okay? Uh, but to answer that question about compressors, this one came out of this smaller one here. This one was a little bit smaller. This compressor as is weighed seven pounds. This larger one that came out of the big one weighed 10.6 pounds or 10 pounds, six ounces. And I have opened them. As you can see, I do have a full breakdown how to open compressors, some tips and tricks. Uh, I did open it, as you can see above, there is a weld here, but the cap comes off. So this was the transformer that came out of the little one. Did the scratch test to see if it's copper or aluminum. You can see it is unfortunately aluminum. So because this is aluminum, I actually am just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna get a tin price for this now because it's opened and that's okay. I do have some of my American viewers that say, what does it matter if it's aluminum or copper? Uh, for them, they do take the copper windings off there. Here in Southwestern Ontario, I only get about five cents a pound for this aluminum. So it does not weigh much and it does not, it's not worth my time. They actually, that person commented, they get about 65 cents a pound American. So well worth it for them, as well as transformers. Those transformers, a lot of them now have copper or aluminum winding. They will take those as well. For me, if they're aluminum, I just throw them right into my tin and get the tin uh, price for them. So aluminum, this larger one here, as I said, weighed 10 pounds, six ounces. It came out, scratch this one. So really and truly, it's not that much bigger. You can see it's not that much bigger. Uh, only again, three and three pounds, six ounces worth. But this one, look at that. Nice copper on that. So I am gonna open this. I do have full breakdowns on these, very easy to do. Just gonna take a grinder, gonna grind down one side of this. This cap is gonna pop off. The rest of this I'm gonna put right into my vise, hit it downwards with a punch and pull it out. So that's gonna give me number two copper price. Uh, at $4.37 a pound, opposed to if I was to leave this as is and get unopened compressor weight at 39 cents a pound, uh, so 10 pounds there, $3 something cents, uh, $3.09 cents, if you will, 90 cents, uh, but again, a lot more copper here. And the rest of this, the nice thing is I can still throw the shell into my tin, so I'm not losing profit at 10 to 14 cents a pound. I'm still getting a dollar if it was 10 cents a pound just for this as well as this frame, but I'm still getting the copper. And there's probably almost a pound of copper there. So I'm gonna definitely make more money taking the time to open this. It didn't even take me a grinding disc when I factor in waste. Uh, so well worth my time, but ice makers for sure. I do apologize again that it was in a little bit of pieces, uh, but I did have to break it apart to get out that compressor. Um, hopefully that answered those questions, but again, a beautiful copper radiator tons of copper that dryer make sure you open that tons of different copper tubing that you see there and just for the sake of this video here is my scale i will just quickly just factor in just the price of this or the weight of this this is going to give me right there there's one pound two ounces so Almost, uh, you know, if I factor out this, because this is pretty heavy with this, so almost a pound just of copper there. That's not including all the copper from this, the transfer, the component. So, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you uh, comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.